you've been in this business for a while now. Yes, sir. You know, at a very early age until this particular point in your life. <clears throat> What's the most satisfying album that you think you've made with, with some of the, the guys that you have collaborated with uh, that you kind of put your heart and soul into? Well, I, my music has always been very personal. I mm. mean, the one time I kind of went for a pop album when I worked with a bunch of other producers was the Blurred Lines album. I mm. worked with Pharrell and Timberland mm -hmm. and Will I Am, and because I've always written and produced my own music. Mm -hmm. But that album, I went, you know, I said, let me just work with all the best producers and see if we get a big hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we did. And you did, yeah. We did. did. But uh, my music is more. Um, uh, it's so personal to me and each album and each state of my life is described in the lyrics within the album. But I'd say the most pivotal album would be The Evolution um, because everything in my life was going like this and the first album was supposed to be a big success and then it just went like that. And so I really had to do a lot of soul searching and figure out what was I do making music for? Was I only making it to, to be a star or to be loved? Or was I making it for the music? And a lot of these real soul searching, spiritual, uh, working on myself songs came out in the evolution. So, and the, some of the songwriting is just the best I ever did. Yeah, Lost Without You, is that one of those songs? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, cause yeah. that was, that, that 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 shit was tight. Yeah, that's the and I know it was personal. That's the joke. But yeah. that 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 song, I, when I first heard it, I was like, man, yeah. Rob is killing this one. Yeah, you know I have a, I mean? a cute story about that. I remember Bono had just won um, album and record of the year for "It's a Beautiful Day," and the day after the Grammys, Jimmy Iovine invited me up to his office, um, and Pharrell was there, and Bono's there, and um, Pharrell says, and I had sung this song for Pharrell a cappella. I still hadn't even recorded the vocal. And this is Lost Without You? Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I, for some reason, I never wanted to record the vocal. I'd always sing it for people live, and right. I wouldn't put the vocal down. And so, uh, but, but by then, I had had the vocal. So um, uh, Pharrell says, play that Lost Without You song. So I put it on, and Bono, Bono le <laughs> leans back. He's got a cigarette. Well, this is a very important album. <laughs> <laughs> and that uh, <laughs> that was the beginning of that journey uh, man listen first of all your, your voiceovers are pretty damn good <laughs> <laughs> you got your dad you got Bono you we're going to try I to hear a few more. I love yeah. Bono because he never repeats himself. You know, some people go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, right. Bono, just, Bono just says, I'm a poet, and when I speak, I don't say it again. <laughs> you just have to take it and go do some homework. <laughs> yeah, because then I said some okay. other artistic shit that was uh -huh. cool, and he goes, you should go home and write that song. <laughs> I said, thank you, Bono. <laughs> Bono just gave me homework. 